Coach Stewart was one of the great coaches in the game's history. And the job he did at Missouri, you know, I've always looked upon him as a, a real tough character. They didn't call him Storm and Norman for no reason. He was an unbelievable competitor on the court. He was a great athlete himself. Tremendous player, both baseball and basketball. Hated in Kansas and loved in Missouri, okay? So uh, that, that's the way it's supposed to be. If they love you, you're probably not very good. I mean, you go to your, your arch rivals, you know, you're not causing enough grief. I think the sort of the Midwestern gruff exterior that he showed on the sidelines doesn't reflect the kind of heart he has. You know, he's somebody who's been around this the basketball landscape for a long, long time and mentored a lot of young coaches. And then Norm, once he had the battle with cancer, he's the person responsible for starting Coaches versus Cancer. When he came to our board meeting, and this was after he had suffered uh, and was uh, dealing with cancer himself, you know, he was one of us. He's a tenacious guy, he's a battler, and we decided to take on cancer, he did it with everything that he had. There was something about his passion, there was something about his humor, and there was something that made me feel he was talking directly to me. It was his thought and idea that brought, brought all of us together. He's a man's man, a coach's coach, respected by everybody. And for him to have put this together, I know it's, it's very gratifying for him, but he's not one that would step out front and take that credit. But he deserves the lion's share of the credit. Big thing with Norm is he, he never took himself seriously. He always used to tell the story about how people said he could never win the big one. You know, the man won like 700 games, and he said, no, I guess I couldn't win the big one, but I won an awful lot of little ones, didn't I? Norm's funny all the time. In other words, he looks at life you know, in, in ways which um, makes him endearing to a lot of people. When we started our gala in Philadelphia, the first person that we wanted to honor was Norm Stewart. And when Norm came in, he, he took over the room. There's six Division I coaches in Philadelphia, but at our event, everybody in that room wanted to meet, touch, take a picture with Norm Stewart. And he hadn't been coaching for a while. Norm has played such a huge role in, in this program. I mean, he, he founded it. He got it rolling. He's as fine a human being as, as life has ever seen. Anyone he impacts, anyone he talks to, anyone he comes into contact with, leaves being a better person. And I'm so glad he battled cancer, beat cancer. But what he did that will live on is his coaches versus cancer. He's a wonderful person who can't get enough credit for what he's done for this program.